वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ द क्रोनोनेट इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू इम्प्लीमेंट अ पेपर फ्रॉम द स्क्रैच यूजिंग पाई टॉर्च सो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड द इंसेप्शन ब्लॉक ऑफ द क्रोनोनेट एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ वी कैन बिल्ड द जी आर यू लेयर लेट मी गो टू द डॉक्यूमेंटेशन ऑफ द जी आर यू लेयर सो वी कैन सी दैट हाउ इट वर्क बिकॉज फॉर मी जी आर यू और एल एस टी एम लेयर आर बिट मोर ट्रिकियर दैन द कन्वोल्यूशन लेयर सो लेट मी सी दैट वट इज द इनपुट शेप द नेट द इनपुट शेप शुड बी एल कोमा एन कोमा एच इन सो वट इज द एल एल इज द सीक्वेंस ऑफ द लेंथ एन इज द बैच साइज एंड एच इन इज द इनपुट साइज सो वेन बैच first is false when batch first is true then the first index is the batch size then the sequence length which is 1875 and the last one is the number of channel which are 96 in our case this is when batch first is true so we are going to deal when batch first is true instead of when batch first is false because i want to keep the batch as the first or zeroth index so i am going to write the code of the gru layer gru equal to an n dot gru okay this is the gru layer the input size is the number of input channel and the hidden size is the number of output channel and the batch first is true but in our case the 1875 which is l should be in center and 96 should be in the last so we have to move the 96 to last and 1875 which is the sequence list in the center so i will do x equal to out 3 dot permute the first thing i need is the batch which is at zeroth index then i need the sequence length which is at the second index and then i need the features or channels which is at the first index so let me print the shape x dot shape it's 31875.96 now i can pass this to the gru layer output comma output equal to gru and i am going to pass x but remember that gru not only return one thing it return two thing first is the basically output and second is the output of the hidden layer uh, for that you might need to read the theory of the lstm that lstm return the output the hidden state and the self state but the gru return output and the hidden state it does not return the self state basically so i am going to return the output and the hidden state at it and after that i am going to print the shape of the output and the hidden state okay the shape of the output is 31875,32 and the shape of the hidden layer is 1,3,32 if i go to my image i can see that the shape of the gru is 1,875,32 which is in our case it hold true after that i have to implement the second gru layer then the third gru layer i have to do the concatenation things and let me just a bit quick in this record because i have shown you how the these thing work let me copy this and this is my gru1 layer and then i have gru2 layer and both layers are identically the same except the gru2 layer which is taking input from the which is taking input from the gru1 layer has the input size 32 this is 32 basically and then we are going to concatenate them g r u out 1 equal to 
gru x gru1 gru out2 take the gru1 output so this should be like this way now i am going to concatenate the output of gru1 layer and gru2 layer so let concatenate it and see what would what is the shape we got after the concatenation layer so i will create a variable gru out and it will store the value after the concatenation layer torch dot cat gru1 output and gru2 output the dimension is 1 Sorry, the dimension should be 2 because we are concatenating the channels. The first dimension is the, which is the zeroth dimension is the batch size. This first dimension is the sequence length and the second dimension is the channel or features. The output of this concatenated layer will pass to the GRU3 layer. So let's write the GRU3 layer. The input size of the GRU3 layer is 64 because the output layer of the concatenation layer has the 64 channel or feature. The hidden size is the 32. So let pass the output of the concatenated layer to this GRU3 layer and figure out what should be the shape. The shape should be the shape of GR after the GRU3 layer should be 1875,32. Let's see that what shape we got here. It should be GRU3 instead of GRU1. So the shape is 1875,32. Now this output with the output of GRU1 and GRU2 layer will be concatenated and we got a shape of 1875,96. So let me concatenate this shape, this data along with the GRU1 and GRU2 output and we got ash and we got an output of 1875,96 after the concatenation layer we have the gru fourth layer and after that we have softmax or sigmoid activation function so i am going to define another gru layer and this gru layer received 96 input size and it has 64 and it has 32 hidden size because it's producing 32 channels so let me pass the shape and let me see the shape of this GRU layer its shape its shape should be 32 but we can see that there is an error okay the shape is 3 comma 1875 comma 32 but the image or the architecture in the chrononet paper shows that the shape should be 32 or 3 comma 32 but we are going at additional 1875 which is the sequence length so there are different ways to handle this but I do not know why this paper haven't discussed this, this issue but let me explain two of the ways to handle this. The first way is to pass this 1875 to a fully connected layer or a dense layer or a linear layer. Both are the same things. In Keras we call dense layer. In PyTorch we call linear layer. In theory we call fully connected layer but these are all same so we can pass this 1875 to the linear layer which will output 1 and then we can reshape to 3 comma 32 
So let me write a linear layer. But before the linear layer, we have to swap the dimensions or axis. We have to move this 32 in the middle and 1875 as the last axis. So I will do permute, which will act as swapping of the axis 0, 2, 1. And now we can see that spell error it should be permute and now we can see that the shape is 3 comma 96 now we can pass this to the GRU4 layer but before that we also need to permute it again because we want the 96 at the last axis in linear layer we want the 96 in the middle and in the GRU layer we want the 96 at the last because I have shown you what shape the GRU layer expect from the documentation. So we can see that it is 3, 1, 32. We can use unsqueeze or maybe squeeze to remove this one and then it will be 3, 32. This is the one way. The other way is that let me run this cell again to overwrite the work I have done. The other way is to use the hidden state. So if I check the shape of this hidden state, I can see that it is 1, 3, 32. So I can remove this one. Then it will be 3, 32. This 3 is the batch size and the 32 is the output of this GRU layer. After that, we have to use the softmax activation function or sigmoid activation function in case of binary problem. But in PyTorch, the loss function, which is binary cross entropy with logits loss, has already inbuilt sigmoid activation function. And it accepts the logits, which is actually the output without passing through a sigmoid or activation or softmax activation function. In the next part, we will compile all of this thing in a one architecture and we will see how we can do it further. Thank you.